What's up guys, I'm Death Infinox Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making, oh let's get away for a bit. So we're gonna be making the Frost Chain Blades and I believe I've made this build before but since this one is the fast version of the build, of course it's going to deal more damage and as usual since we are using the Chain Blades, we would want to stack the special to maximum which is 4 stacks and let's just keep hitting and as you can see, it's really easy with this quill shot. Okay, stack at the maximum. Let's not get hit Revenant and let's cast a special using the dashing attack. Oh, that was unintentional but okay. Okay, so why the dashing attack? I'm going to explain on the next battle after the build and yep, since I'm going to show you on the next battle. So let's just stack up the build for this battle and let's not use the dashing attack so that we have max stacks on the next battle. I think it's going to die in like real soon. Yep, there we go. Under a minute and as you can see, this build is pretty good. So before I'm going to show you the build, I'm going to take a sip of this air fans and yep, here is the build. So here's the build guys, and as always, I'm going to go through the perk summary first before the build and here's Berserker for your extra damage because Chain Blades can hit really fast and it works very well with Chain Blades this Berserker and you can gain stacks real fast thanks to this flurry of attacks and catalyst here just for the sake of attack speed Although if you are rich, you can always use anything you want in any battle but for me, I'm going to limit myself to the Blitz Tonic because all I need is the attack speed Cutting and Pulse for your criticals, Predator for extra damage and Conditioning comes with the weapon that I bought with the Urska weapon right here and that is the Boreas So Boreas comes with Conditioning and there is no other way to change it because it's innate perk so we're going to leave it as it is and here's Rage because I'm using Revenant and as always I'm going to explain Revenant works with Rage because Revenant counts as taking a damage I mean taking damage okay so it will activate the Rage and it does not count as taking a hit Predator deactivates when you take a hit and since Revenant does not count as taking a hit it will keep the Predator active and Rage at the same time when you activate the Revenant so it works very well with Predator and Rage so that's the build, although you can switch the rage into something else because it's a prismatic cell here You can always switch it to maybe adrenaline Although I don't really recommend adrenaline, it gives more damage than rage 33% and rage gives 20% uh, But you have conditioning right here which increases your stamina regeneration Adrenaline works when you are at low stamina which is kinda uh, Not good which is with each other so I would recommend Rage, although if you want to switch it to Energetic, it's also a good choice So that you can get these stacks real fast Although if you want damage, then Rage is your choice That's the perk summary, let's go through the build It's the Time Wave Helmet with Pulse Thrust with Pulse Mulcarion with Cunning And Time Wave with Berserker And Pangos right here because as always I want to clear the little creatures first From the Island events or maybe Escalations or anything else Although if you don't want Pangas Shrine, that's fine because you can always switch it to anything else you want but fit in the Catalyst Cell and one positive thing about Pangas Shrine here is because we're using Frost Weapon here as well so you'll be able to slow down the Behemoth twice as fast because you're using two Frost kind of equipment right here so maybe 10 seconds or 20 seconds into the battle if you activate both and both hit the Behemoth constantly at the same time it will be able to slow them in 10-20 seconds and here's the weapon, Berserker and Rage, as always, like, you can always switch this one into anything else, as I said. And the key here is Momentum Blaze. You can get this one from the Lady Luck. And this is really the thing that you need. You, can, you cannot switch it to anything else you want. Although, if you don't have Momentum Blaze, maybe the Hurricane Blaze is the light choice. But get the Momentum Blaze if you can. So I'm going to explain this one. Reaper's Dance. Primary attack will make you dash to the behemoths as you have seen in the showcase just now So when you are dashing, you're going to consume one momentum and thus activating the momentum blades when you're using your special Your next special use within 4 seconds consumes no momentum So your next dash attack in 4 seconds after your first cast of Reaper's Dance is going to be free So you're not going to spend momentum on every single cast of your Reaper's Dance which means at 4 stacks, you're going to be able to do 8 attacks, 8 dashing attacks in consecutive. Yep. But it does not work with the slamming attack, okay? The secondary attack. 
Why? Because when you use the Reaper Stack, it's going to consume all the stacks. And yes, it's going to give you a free special use within 4 seconds, but you're going to use the Slam Attack at 0 stacks, which deals literally no damage at all. Which is why this build works well only with the primary attack or the dash attack after you catch a special. And also there is a slight little bug with the slamming attack which I'm going to show you after this one because I have the full stacks already. Uh, yep, I think it's going to be the fight with the Hellion. So that's for the build guys. Okay, so let's continue the battle on to the next one and then as I have said, I'm going to show you why the slam is not good with this build right here, Boreas. And yep, we're going to go through the Hellion first because I think some people have trouble fighting Hellion, but not for this one. And as you can see, the sprites that generate after the slam is whack. Okay, so the points of the Boreas weapon is so that you can get additional damage on your special when you cast the special, of course. And Unfortunately for the slamming attack, the frost sprites spawn after you slam, not before you slam. But the opposite happens with the dashing attack. As you can see, the frost sprite regenerates and then you hit the behemoth with the extra damage from the frost sprites. And that is the point of this build. You wouldn't want to use slamming attack because the frost sprites generates after. And as you can see, the headline is almost dead. And yep, although the slamming attack still deals pretty high damage, I'm not really recommending using it with this build because yep, it's really a waste. So just use the dashing attack and as you can see Hellion dies in like uh, 1 minute or so. I think it's less than a minute. So let's take out the stacks. Oh, that's a bit left to the stack. But okay, that's fine. So this is the uh, place where Hellion will respawn if you kill another Hellion. Of course, we're not going to fight a blaze behemoth again since we have fought the blaze. Oh, there's a chest. Since we have fought a blaze behemoth, I mean two blaze behemoths. So we're going to go through the toughest behemoths in the hunting grounds, not counting the Chrono Four as a boss, and that is a Falamir. It has a stupidly high amount of HP, and I hope that I can kill this one fast. Although I'm not pretty sure I could because, yep, this guy is tough. Okay, so let's hit it so that I can get the max stacks and, yep, that's the pulse. Okay, let's keep dashing. As you can see, I can deal 900, 1.9k, 1.9k and that is actually really good. Oh, I can deal one more stack. I mean, one more dash. Okay, let's keep hitting. Oh, it's slowed down. I hit. Oh, sometimes I hit getting the beam slowed down because the timing is quite off. I'd rather have a fast pace play then a slow pace play like this one let's dash okay 9k 1.7k uh i kind of miss the predator right there also the build here is using berserker as always so with the dashing attack you can get oh no the pop breaks when i cast a revenant okay so your dashing attack will refresh the berserker stack of course oh no i forgot to trigger the berserker first okay that's fine Okay, so let's just keep hitting. Oh, timing. Timing is everything. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's keep hitting. Oh. Okay. Where, where is the stagger? Why no stagger? Okay, let's keep hitting. Okay, dashing attack. We don't want to get hit by that. Okay, thank god the part breaks. Okay, it's half HP by now. Let's cast the Revenant. And I hope it staggers soon. Let's not let the game back. Okay, thank god. Okay, let's stack the special to max and dashing attack. Again and again. So it's 8 dashing attack if you count it and that's 1.4k, 1.4k and yep, It's actually pretty good, it's pretty fun to play. And why is it good? Because when you are dashing in and out, you are invulnerable to damage. And that is so good in my opinion. And as you can see, the Falamir is like slowed down. Oh, what happened there? The, okay, is that the Falami is slowed down for like the whole battle and as you can see this build is very good It can kill behemoths pretty fast and it's a fun Play because you can keep dashing in and out of battle and the invulnerability of that and of course you deal extra damage with with each dash attack for like Let's count the damage criticals for 1.7k for each hit 8 hits means it like it's like 10k Okay, so just play it safe and that's all for the build guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like subscribe. It's free and you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.